Do we have audio? Shot dark. No, I don't think we have audio. Shot dark. You are getting audio. Super loud audio. We need to fix the game. Hmm. Oh yeah, we have audio. <laughs> oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> okay, you're two minutes late. All right. Fire away, Clay. Thank you, thank you. I will listen to make sure it works out here. Hello, hello. Shoot, I'm not getting any in-game audio. Hold on. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Well divided. Ooh, all right, the actual wall comes up. Player okay, the, uh, the off, so not able to move around. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so, welcome to the stream. Old uh, Sometimes your usual ways streamer are best. is not here today. It is me, Clayton, the captain of the Valorant team, streaming uh, the first game of Seavel with Baron versus um, Fisher College. Fisher College, yeah. So, Fisher College is, uh, their team consists of five people. Just five people, right so they there. doesn't look like they have any subs. Let us hunt. All right immortal and ready. So they got like three people in immortal and you want to play? Let's Eddie. play. Take flight. Chamber with his uh, ultimate. Holding from Cubby, getting a four piece right here. Will he be able to get the ace? Probably not. Let's see, let's see. It's a 50 50 right here. Oh, and there's like a little jump peak right there. That's already at half. Chamber ran out of his ult. Aw, oh, dang. Interesting play from uh, Season right there. Then he ran out of stars. I was unable to play place another smoke down so we can uh, defuse. All right, but we'll 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 try by a uh, good try by uh, Jordan right there. All right. So it looks like their econ right now is a little shot. They're gonna go with a save round here. Um, all right, Tyler pulling out his uh, ultimate. Which is basically an operator, but slightly better with less bullets, though. Focusing on quality of shots rather than quantity. Stin being taken out immediately, not holding a close corner, but pushing into garage. Gets punished for that. If they're able to take out a few and take a gun or two, this might be a very good save round for them. But we'll see what happens. C is one of the hardest. Um, Sites to retake takes a lot of team coordination to actually retake the site, uh, and especially on a save round, C site is definitely a a site that they would be hitting. Usually, if uh, if you're playing on a team and you see that the enemy team is low on funds, 
on this map at least, uh, C is definitely a good good uh, site to take. So really on this map, uh, B is the only site that's really easy to take as an attacker. Uh, but it's very hard to hold it post-plant. Um, that's why they would focus more on uh, A and C. Like, as an attacker, uh, in the attacker's point of view, they would go for either A or C. A is easier to retake as a defender, so um, it would be best for them to take C, but C is a risk by itself being a, a long angle. Usually someone can hold uh, C long with an op, causing attackers great grief trying to push, push up C long. Um, Right now, this is their round for them to come back. Uh, they were able to buy. But it looks like their econ's gonna be real, real shot if they're not able to clutch up this round, which is gonna be kind of hard. Oh, dang. Their chamber is able to dodge every fucking bullet. Oh, sorry. Every, every bullet <laughs> thrown his way. Let's see. Okay, so looking at their setup right now, they have a sky going short. So she's she's holding A, throwing flashes for util probably or for info. Uh, Chamber um, tossed his trademark on B, which is a very interesting play. So it looks like they're gonna give B kind of play reactively to it, and then uh, oh, okay, so no Chamber's not gonna go hold long, but she's gonna be like holding uh, a nice close rat corner here. Looking for a garage cheese. Uh, looks like he's gonna try to TP out. Okay, so he's gonna TP off first shot here, going to C. Hiding behind box and corner, connecting to C. Ooh, good bait by uh, Sky, oh, not Sky. Good bait by Asher right there. Sky gets taken out. Sky and Jordan gets taken out. Okay. Let's see if weapons uh, T try, tries for the gun here. That would be ideal, but peeking this would be very dangerous considering uh, on the other side of the double doors are going to be two vandals staring his way. Oh, looks like we were able to clear that. Two weapons are secured, um, increasing the odds of them winning. Okay, trademark getting taken out. Chambers will be looking towards uh, flank side. We're going to have. Jordan taking up heaven. Uh, doesn't look like he's going to be looking for first contact using a stinger, but he's going to clear these corners because of the omen able to like teleport up to heaven. Um, ooh, now we know that Odin, our uh, omen is uh, sitting down in hell, but we also got chambered just crouching there with a uh, off, and he gets caught in the crossfire jumping down. Okay, that's a very interesting plan actually. From this, he can get um, this kind of plant is usually pretty good, but usually a plant here on the side of the side would be best because it's being you're able to peek it from every uh, every single angle on site. So a plant here would be great. Plant here uh, baits people into thinking that um, they're going to be long and they're going to be peeking up from sewer behind this box here. I guess like hell is also a good, um, good angle to hold that from. Interesting, very interesting plants by them. These are radiant level plays by the way, ish. Okay, wow. Sorry, I'm missing all the action over here. They're pushing A, uh, a pretty aggressively. Um, Baron is trying to take some aggressive peaks, trying to trade one for one here, but uh, trying to Trying to even out the numbers, but it is a huge risk, especially when um, it fails. So, in this situation, they're gonna have to play very methodically to get this. The Odin coming out from Austin. Okay. Oh, able to take out the Chamber. Chamber misses the shot with the op. Okay, well, someone's gonna be able to pick up uh, Chamber's op. Okay, so we see we can see some really interesting plays from uh, Sova here with the with the Odin since he's got a lot of intel able to mark enemies through uh, terrain on the map. 
the Odin is a very high fire rate, high damage, and uh, high wall penetration gun, um, which would allow him to spam people through walls. Uh, very interesting tactic, but uh, against high elo players, this is this is kind of a risky tactic. Okay, so it looks like half the team is able to actually buy rifles here. The others are only able to buy SMGs. Um, an ult coming out with uh, very little info. All right, usually we see a Sova drum before the ult here, but it looks like. He's trying to risk it for the biscuit, trying to zone them off. Oh, and... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was missing everything here. Jordan's able to clutch up the round. He gets the kill on people pushing up from garage into C. Okay, okay. Alright, so this is the attacking round. This is going to be... Um, this should give them a little bit more of a degree of freedom to actually make some plays, to figure things out, make, make something happen. Um... Looks like they're going to be pushing C long. We're a very, very standard play from uh, on pistol round from attackers. C long is not exactly uh, dangerous uh, on pistol round due to, well, it's being pistols. Except if someone's holding the sheriff, but who buys the sheriff on pistol rounds when they're playing? Uh, what's it called? When they're playing seriously, unless they're like. Super cracked at it, unless you're tens. <laughs> Alright, so Asha throwing out some smokes. Let's see first contact right here. Okay, smoke come a very good smoke coming out from the enemy omen. Uh, but weapon C is able to take a pick out on the um, on, on the enemy chamber. Oh, okay. Uh, Alright, so these are fantastic smokes. The line of sight's blocked, they're not able to push in. Um, this is actually a very good uh, yeah, Baron has a very good chance of winning this, as long as they don't get picked off. So we got uh, Neon pushing out from C long. Oh, Neon and Breach. Oh, they gotta watch CT here. Oh, CT gets taken out. Or, one watching CT gets taken out, so now it's a 1v3. Shot's not able to take out the people pushing onto site. And this round, uh, first round of second half goes to Fisher College. Okay. The second round, they gotta really rethink their strat here. It looks like they're gonna be forcing and trying to make something happen. Like they're, so they they're they're banking on winning this round. <laughs> if they don't win this round, this is a very risky play. Uh, not winning this round would mean um, a huge financial deficit for their team. So we see the stingers coming out with the full shields. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Shots getting the uh, the pick onto the chamber here. So B's site is a very interesting site for attackers. As I said before, this is a very hard site to play post plant. So post plant, as you can see, they're being taken out very quickly, dropping like flies. So we got Jordan here playing with the uh, playing with the stinger. Stingers. <laughs> That's the danger with stingers. Once you go through that one that first mag. Um, you gotta go reload. You can you can definitely guarantee a uh, very interesting kill uh, with your first magazine, but then you gotta like really think about how you're gonna play after that. You gotta play like you have a shotgun almost. <laughs> Pop action. Don't give them time to reposition. All right. Okay, so looking a little bleak for uh, Baron, but let's see what kind of strats they pull. Um, this is just like the first week, and it is a little rough. Uh, they don't really have their full roster. Uh, we got some subs going in. Uh, and we have some interesting strats coming out. I mean, then again, this is against like Radiant players, so... Uh, this was supposed to be a kind of a wake-up call for them. Because they were playing in ECAC. ECAC, they had uh, mostly... Um, Opponents that were not at this level. They were playing the open division. Uh, so this is kind of like a little taste of what it's going to be like uh, playing against teams that are at or s just above their own skill level. All right. 
So it seems like the enemy team Fisher College is playing very aggressively on defense. They're pushing out, taking flanks. Um, we already know where Chamber's coming from. He might have already gone onto site already. So Jordan's playing very reactively while uh, Shots here is holding the cross with a, a guardian. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Oh, actually, I haven't gotten any kills. <laughs> Taken. I haven't been watching any any of the kills that have been happening on our team. I haven't been watching them. <laughs> All right, I gotta be watching. Uh, I try harder. <laughs> ah, okay. That's the thing with um, being in the coach's spot. Actually, you're only able to see like the perspective of uh, our team. So there's no bird's eye view. There's no. Um, LOS uh, tracking. It's just, uh, it's just if I'm just flipping through uh, the different screens of our players here. Okay. Uh, Fun gets a pick as an attacker. Getting a pick uh, isn't isn't bad. Trading one for one. Ooh, leaving Jordan with a one v three right here. But they're very aggressive. Okay. Okay. Interesting play with the Phantom. As a smoke player, a Phantom is actually very useful since um, he is up close and personal with them. <laughs> Let's see if he decides to plant on B. This is a very interesting plan. He's very open and the retake here is very easy for the defenders. So this is a pretty big risk. Very easy site to take. Oh crap. <laughs> Dang. Typically, you'd expect a smoker to be playing right on site, holding close angles to defend uh, on post plant. But I guess he took that first engagement just to throw the enemy team off. Right now, in this round, looks like only one of them is able to buy everyone else. Uh, okay, actually, no, they do have some money going around. Uh, not all of them are going to be able to carry rifles this round, though. Looks like weapons T and Stin are gonna have to compromise a little bit. So you see Stin out here with the uh, half shield and Chamber with the bulldog and half shield. So we're gonna probably see some pretty aggressive plays with picking one for one and then trading each other out. And then, oh, he takes first contact, interesting. Oh, shoot, okay. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna see some pretty aggressive plays here. They're gonna have to play Whoa. Their sky was taken out with a little head glitching spot coming out from uh Oh shoot. Okay. Defenders win. Very, very valiant effort from uh Baron. <laughs> okay, okay. First round goes to or first match goes to uh Yeah, first round, sorry. First round goes to um Fisher College here, very good effort. Very good effort coming out from uh, Baron Esports. <laughs> uh, how do we get this maximum? There we go. There we go. All right. Cool. Uh, not connected. Chair sure, not connected. Interesting. That's weird. Quick five minute break. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna take a short intermission. Um, let me set up the second map. I was, that should be ascent. Let me double check. Oh, wasn't it? There we go. This one. 
Okay. So second map is going to be bind. Right. Okay. So I'll set up for and we'll defend they want defense first or they want attack first, sorry. Um, they want to start defense, okay. So we're gonna have to move. Okay. Uh, short intermission, I will be right back. I'm gonna go check on their mentals. <laughs> All right, and we're back. Okay. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> All right, so second map is going to be Bind. Two sites instead of three. Um, 
A side a little bit more on the open side, more angles to peek from, and B side a little bit less angles. Okay, interesting. But interesting terrain on uh, on B side on bind. All right. So once this coach gets into his spot, we can get started. All right. I am apparently chat banned. Maybe I said some naughty words in my competitive games. Okay, so everybody seems ready. All right, we start. All right. Never had a uh, someone running the show casting at the same time, huh? All right, so we got interesting. So Fun and Season are going to be picking up some duelists here. Stin is going to be playing smokes to them. Uh, oh, okay, triple duelist maybe. They're going to need an initiator to actually get some uh, have to support out the, these uh, duelists. So looks like they might have to sacrifice on a um, a sentinel. If that's it. Sentinels are great for holding defense. This might be pretty good if they want to go for like a rad smoke. <laughs> a rad smoke strat. Okay, never mind. Season going for probably initiator here. If weapon T and fun. Oh, looks like. Okay. Quadruple duelist and a smoke. I like that. All right, but now Weapon C is going to pick up a probably initiator at this point if they're going for uh, this many duelists. Or not. Who knows? <laughs> okay, okay. Triple duelists. I like it. I like it. Very good. Choose your agent. Triple duelists. Okay, so we're going to be... That's going to be interesting. So two, three flashes on their team. Jet uh, going to have to, like... So this is going to be attack. Uh first for them. So we're going to be seeing some interesting flashes coming out from the uh, three duelists over here. Uh, Phoenix, Yoru, and Reyna. And Weapon T having to dash in to um, try and capitalize on those flashes. And Brim is going to try to cut off more LOS from um, chop up the site uh, as a controller to allow for Weapon T to capitalize on the flash enemies, but if the enemies are good, they're radiant. Uh, I'm going to predict that they're going to dodge some of these flashes, so they're going to have to be pretty smart about how they place these flashes, otherwise their flashes are going to be in vain and Jet is going to die. <laughs> so we're going to see. Hopefully hopefully, uh, Weapon C is able to capitalize on the flashes here. <laughs> okay, other than that, I mean, they, they... Okay, so Yoru has a very interesting playstyle as a duelist. He is not your typical duelist. He can go for some pretty heavy lurks and he can really be the X Factor, the wild card on the uh, on the attacking team here. Okay, okay. Takes out the clone. So enemy brimstone smoking out, okay. Alright. Ooh. Alright, good trade there, good trade. Since Austin, oh, <laughs> not very much you can do there as Austin, being in the open, exposed to multiple angles there, has to focus one, or he's gonna lose all of them. Okay, interesting. So it looks like with this team comp, they're able to really get onto site uh, and probably place a plant, but holding that uh, is gonna be quite difficult since. Looks like they're using most of their util to get onto site. Not a lot of util left over for holding the post plant. So if the enemy team just plays out the post plant, um, then this might be pretty dangerous. <laughs> this is really like a an all or nothing team right now. Okay, a bulldog on uh, the enemy team. Interesting. Oh, a Vandal coming out for the enemy team too. Okay. So it looks like the Fade is only going to have like half shields uh, since... Oh, okay. Yeah. As you can see, he, he died. <laughs> Ooh.
Being able to pick up the Vandal, that is pretty big. That is huge. If he's able to get like a pick in... Uh, he's only two points away from his ult. He can probably make something happen. Here. Oh! And the wide swing coming out of uh, Viper here. Very interesting play. Uh, deciding to split up and try to uh, play for picks. Gun here. It's a judge. Interesting. They have bomb in bathroom, so they're probably just gonna play for bomb. Play bomb. Uh, they got some rifles in there, so they gotta be very careful of the yeah, <laughs> the double angle right there. Not much you can do with the specter. Okay. So for them forcing the second round would would mean risking their econ for the third. So right here they're gonna have to buy for the next round. Or just play uh SMGs and shotguns for the rest of the game. Ooh, interesting first engagement. Very interesting angle held by Tyler here. This guy's gonna be able to clear that angle with the uh, dog, but the angle advantage from uh, from that is definitely not gonna be on his side. <laughs> Can he picked out by the rays, and the rest of the team gets rolled. All right. They're gonna have to be pretty creative with their plays here, since this is a definite. This is definitely going to be a hard match <laughs> to win. Is okay. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, oh, oh, the flank coming out. Looks like the enemy team is sticking with their very aggressive playstyle on defense. Very hard flanks. With their team comp right now, with uh, Baron's team comp, they gotta really like push in quickly and take space before the flank comes in. Or they push the, uh, fake a push and then push the flank. That might be a pretty solid strat for them. Because if they, if they fake the push and then push the flank, they should be able to uh, get a couple picks on the people flanking. Because it's going to be a 5v2 uh, against the flankers versus, you know, whatever's happening over here. Oh crap. Fun getting taken out, trying to get a pick. So, right now in this uh, uh, in this act, this season of Valorant, we're gonna be seeing more of uh, an objective playstyle from um, any anybody playing Phoenix, because Phoenix is one of those agents where, uh, well, he's actually kind of a unique agent. He's gonna be playing around his ult. So to do that, he's gonna have to find ult orbs and chances to get ult points are actually be useful for his team. A very aggressive push. <laughs> very blind aggressive push coming out of Austin right here. That brimstone. Okay. This is a very dangerous angle knowing that uh, the enemy team has a lot of flanking potential, or like flankers. Oh, okay. Very good, very good. And he's got to watch out for the flank here now. Eight bullets. A oh, one-way smoke. One of them is on site. Shots really has to be careful. Reyna does have overheal, and he's got ult, so he can probably make something happen with his ult. Oh, the standing in the smoke is a uh, quite a risky play. <laughs> he 
is really banking on someone pushing up. But again, these are uh, radiant too. They're not gonna throw around by. It's 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 a uh, it's it's a rare it's a very rare instance uh, of ra radiance. <laughs> You're going up against radiance that they're going to be throwing rounds by pushing smokes like that. Um, yeah. Oof. Interesting. They didn't really flank that round. Honestly, at this point, if. Oh, okay. So the raise pushes up uh, B long, takes out two of them. Now it's going to be a 3v5. Weapon C. Uh, as Jet playing secondary, okay, unable to, oh, dang, hey, hey, that's BM, that's BM right there, enemy Viper, BM, <laughs> hey yo, That's actually a reportable offense. That is... <laughs> ba yeah, bannable, exactly. Yeah, that's reportable right there. That's shooting shooting bodies excessively and uh, teabagging. So that... Maybe, maybe you can win by default, you know? <laughs> uh, what is... <laughs> what a very... What a very aggressive, uh, toxic... Uh, <laughs> the demeanor changed quick. <laughs> okay, all right. So we got to push on B here. Um, we got Phoenix trying to take a duel with the uh, Fade. He's definitely gonna be playing towards the ult or trying to get points to his ult to actually be uh, very effective for his team. We got Fade and Rays on a quickly rotating over to B. So B is only having two people right now. If they push together to clear angles, this might be pretty good, but that is also a very risky play. Okay, so Season placing an anchor down uh, in Garden. Might be thinking about pushing. Very interesting fake teleport coming out from... Uh, Burners tell uh burning flash off really quickly. Fade with the op. Pulling a interesting angle. Okay. This place is nice, wow. but not nice enough to die in. Let's is that an iron gun buddy? Hey yo. Dude, those are that's one of the rarest gun buddies to ever have uh to ever get. Dang, okay. Oh wait, what? Never mind. What the heck happened? <laughs> Maybe you just pick one up. I don't know. Someone from the enemy team got down to iron and then got back up to mortal. That's that's kind of crazy. That's how you really know this person plays Valorant. You know, they are able to play down all the way to uh, D rank down to iron and then come back up to immortal radiant wherever they are. Okay. So it looks like we got double opping one in uh, one in showers and one in uh, what's it called heaven. Weapons T, maybe going for oh okay. I see I see the uh, I see the effort here. He's attempting to double dash or double updraft up into a angle where you can see heaven and try to get a pick on the opper in heaven. But it looks like there are textures in the way, getting in the way of that. Okay. This might be one of those games where they uh, just play smokes and uh, <laughs> carry judges. If I'm be honest. They're econ right now. Looking a little hard fought. Not everyone able to buy. Some people buying rifles. Some people not buying. Interesting. Okay. Obviously, the enemy team winning eight rounds in a row. Uh, it's going to have a very healthy stream of income. Looks like we're going to see a more traditional pusher with uh, flashers and duels heading up first. Should 
shots here is going to be playing uh, TP, waiting for people to teleport across. If the Radiants are um, big brain enough, they might be going into teleporter <laughs> backwards to uh, predict it. Yep, just like that. Oh, shit. Dog ruins his plans of using the fake teleport to bait the uh, enemy team into pushing past them. Yeah, wait a minute. That is an iron gun, but gun buddy, look at that. That's awesome. Song steel skin and an iron gun buddy. All right. So it looks like it's gonna be half team buying and the other half not buying. Looks like they're gonna be playing for picks trying to secure guns for a team or it's going to be a lot of uh, weird half buys and full buys <laughs> damn immediately shot down There we go. Alright, we got um, Fade playing in the corner with an op. Very interesting play coming out of Fade. Okay, okay. And we have uh, someone up in heaven playing with an op too. Uh, that is... Oh, shoot. Hey, there we go. There's one round. Okay, this is a very uh, we're gonna we're gonna ignore chat to try to keep the stream on <laughs> out of the liability here. But um, yeah, I don't know. T all chat should not be used for anything besides GG, have fun, and captains talking, uh, game stuff. Oh man, he goes for the fake your clone <laughs> gets burned. I mean, from what we noticed, every time he's thrown that clone out, uh, they've shot. They've like shot preemptively and then dodged the flash. Uh, so I don't think they're gonna be doing anything different here. Um, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> good try, good try, good try. Valiant well, effort. They they were able to pull, pull around, so you know that's uh that's not bad. Oh, the classic, huh? If they're able to pop a rotate here with the teleporter, this could be pretty good for their team. Yeah, sorry, I'm not doing very much casting more, just like theory crafting on how they can uh, pull this round together. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, Weapon C misses the shot with the Bucky. Oh no. Nice try. Telling him loves after this. Oh no. It's okay, okay, that's tilting, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Kovacs. <laughs> Damn. So with a TP play right there, 
yeah, they weren't really expecting the uh, brim to follow so so closely with that to capitalize on everyone running into um, Puka with their backs turned towards CP. Uh, that's uh, rip. Nice try, nice try, nice try. <laughs> oh boy. Typical Valorant, uh, all chat. Out of charges. Spike planted. Taken down. Ooh. Austin able to secure a, um, what's it called? A ghost? Shots trying for the uh. Last player standing. Ooh. One enemy remaining. Ooh, nice shots. Oh, and the wall bang! Oh my god, what a powerful gun that is. On the right hands, that is a very good gun. Two rounds, two rounds. Very well placed shots from uh, shots here, <laughs> and that's why they call them shots, I guess, huh? All right. Looks like they're able to. F they're going to be forcing uh, second round with judges and whatnot, playing uh, close angles. Shots not taking the first engagement here. Not trying to play too risky. Oh. Very well placed nade coming out of a um, raise. Getting the reset after getting two kills and throwing another one into CT. Oh, Sky jumping up on top of uh, Sight and over the uh, tube. <laughs> oh, the run and gun. I like it. Spectres are definitely one of those guns where you can run and gun. Very interesting. Guardian coming out. Guardian is like a, a an upgraded version of the Sheriff and you can ADS with it. So you can really take your time and play some well-placed shots here with it. Uh, Spike planted. Ooh, the plant on B or A site. Okay. And we got fun over here coming up behind them and season going up heaven. Trying to take a good little cross right here. Trying to clear a bunch of angles together. Looks like more likely to be U-Haul, bathroom, or... Yep, U-Haul. He's gonna have to run and gun that. Try to like duel it with a Spectre here. Nice. Let's see, Viper is playing lineups. No, she's not playing lineups. She's just gonna go pop out of bathroom and just uh, be a Deagle Demon. <laughs> All right, this is match point right here. I mean, at least they're not getting rolled uh, as a 13-0 or a, you know 13-1. This is uh, at least gonna end a little bit. Uh, oh, a knife fight, a knife fight proposition. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, the shorthand coming out from Weapons T over here. Shorthand is very, um, very up close and personal. All right, all right, all right. Fun, able to take out. Uh... Oh, okay. Never turn your back on someone in a knife fight. Alright, this is a very good position for Stin. Anyone walking through that doorway is going to be okay. Stin giving up position from the doorway. Gets the kill on a, uh, gets the kill on Sky. So it's going to go 1v1. Oh, 1v1 on Brim. Oh my god. No! 
Oh, oh my god. There we go. The BM, the bait coming out from the other enemy team brim. Very well played on that knife fight too. Oh, good try, good try, good try. All fun and games, you know? Alright. Well, it's been a little bit of 2-0, but uh... Well played, Valiant Effort again from um, Baron. <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh wait, someone's gonna tell him that I'm chat banned. Hold on. Or I'm not chat banned. I don't think I'm chat banned. Oh hey, what's up, dude? Uh, I was trying to tell you I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little chat fan apparently. I don't know. Maybe I said like some naughty words. No, I wasn't. I wasn't toxic, bro. I was uh, super nice. I was the, uh, I was the coach, dude. I was um, I was barely typing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've taken some philosophy courses. Okay, we're having a little chat with the uh, enemy team. What kind of uh, philosophy again? I'm just in. Hold up, I gotta deafen. Okay, uh, I'm in like philosophy 101, and it's just like the guy is like doing way too much. Oh, so you got one of those extra, extra, extra professors here, right? <laughs> yeah, like, all he does, this is what he does. It's Halloween weekend, he gives four assignments and a test. Damn, that's, that's rough. That's rough. Four assignments and a test on a holiday weekend. Dude, that's awesome. Hey, are you uh are you the guy in um academy uh team on the academy team for uh, C9? No, no, C9 doesn't have an academy team anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, Dang. they dropped them off. Oh, what? What happened? Uh, they got franchising, so they they got their second team, so they paid the big bucks to Easter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. <laughs> a little downsizing there, huh? Yeah, but like. It's a good thing in the long run for them. Oh, I guess. I guess. They have Yaster on the main team, then they have Stan White just playing everything. Mm. Hey, who are you playing in uh, the second round? Actually, I, I forgot. Who am I playing when? No, who who'd you play in the second round? Or the second uh, second game? Who'd you play? Second game? Yeah, were you the Brim? Yeah, I'm blind. You are a raise? Okay, okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, I was the guy killing everybody. I was just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, that was actually really well played for all of you guys. Um, some questionable yeah, players coming out of our team, though. I was, uh, I was we expecting. Haven't, uh, we haven't. What's it called? We haven't lost a collegiate match. We're going to the Red Bull thing in Texas. We won our, we won our region. Nice. Hey, we, there was no match scheduled for us uh, last weekend. Did did matches start last weekend or this weekend? No, they started last weekend, but a lot of people had buys. Like, Wait, we, what was that? We had a buy last week. Yeah, a lot of people had buys last week. Buys? Yeah. I don't know what that is, sorry. <laughs> like, you just get a free pass to the next round. Like a buy? Oh! Oh, what the heck? Okay, so technically we're one-on-one -on -one right now, right? If we didn't have a match? Uh, I don't know. I don't... I have a manager that cracked everything. I don't... Oh, oh, actually, oh, never mind, never mind. It's just a pass to the next round, never mind. Not, not an actual victory, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that it's makes sense. Me. You good with it, or what? I mean, I don't know like a shit ton of facts. Like that that's not something I know, but like I definitely dabble in a little bit of philosophy, like um just like thinking wise. Not not actual like uh what's it called? Yeah, that's what I'm okay. saying. Like I mean what, like, what are you trying to do? I like what you... philosophy. Dude, I'll send you like the details of what I'm doing. Just add me a Discord, I sent you in the chat. I'll send All right, the sounds details, good. And it's like wicked. Oh what's the uh story behind your name actually? What's your what's the story behind your name? In high school, I loved chemistry and like hydrochloric acid. And then I was just going through names on Twitch, and chloric was available. I took chloric. 
Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, chlorine is a very uh, interesting element. <laughs> Alright, give me one second to uh, get on Discord real quick. Hold up. Uh, uh, friends, add friend, chloric. And numbers, what was the numbers? It was 1566. Six. Weeb. It's wild. What was, what was that? Hold on, I'm about to send you. Gotcha. <laughs> Wait, is the team only the five of you, or do you guys have subs, or how's this going? Um, yeah, just the five. And Damn. Have, like, a, another team that's, like, their own team. Hmm. Okay, okay. Do you guys compete in like other leagues or just this? Yeah, we compete in like C, 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 N, E, C, C, R, yeah, C, E, C, C, N, E, C, C, E, C, A, C, I have like three. Oh shoot, I'm assuming you guys are in the A division then, huh? There was Red Bull and now C. Wow, you guys compete in a lot of leagues. That must take a lot of time, huh? Then we won the qualified in Jersey Land. Yeah, we don't have time to do this homework, man. Oh, what's your major? What are you majoring in? Uh, computer science right now, but this is statistics and ethics because I'm. Okay. No, I was just like, wondering because like uh, some majors take a lot of uh, your free time away from you. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out. I'm, I'm switching out of computer science, but. Uh, but so if you look at the thing in Discord, it's two things, and you have to select one topic from each side, like group A, group B, whatever. Group one, group two. And you have to write 500 words about it on both of them. Like, yeah. Seems extra, but like, I mean, it's great philosophy. I mean, it's it's like early philosophy. It's interesting, but yeah, like, but I mean, also, he doesn't like. It's like he like forces us to like learn it on our own. Like yeah, that, that's rough. Yeah. Philo okay, so my philosophy teacher just kind of like stood there and talked, and like some people just kind of took a nap thoughts, and then. Right? Yeah. Yeah, my like talks, but all he does like he just says like. Oh, like, Aristotle said this word, here's the meaning of that word. Like, he just huh. explained, like, words that we wouldn't understand that during, like, Greek. Interesting. And I was like, okay, and then he just rants. <laughs> about, like, his, like, That's rough. Yeah, very, I looked him up on my, whatever, regular teacher. Not, not, not a good grade. He's like Ooh. a C minus. What grade are you in? I'm a freshman. Freshman? Okay. Oh, shit. I'm a senior. <laughs> So I'm just wrapping things yeah. up out here, so, Lucky yeah. Man. I mean, it's been What's a rough, you guys? uh, Penn State, so, uh, oh, yeah, you yeah. Big school. yeah, actually, we're on, like, one of the satellite campuses, we're up in, uh, Erie, if you know where that is, it's uh, like, I don't know, we're it's like in north, Boston? oh, you guys are in Boston, no? Okay. Yeah, we live in Boston, and our school is, like, three buildings, and it's, like, it's really small. No wonder you guys are so toxic. Boss is super toxic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just joking. I'm joking. You guys aren't toxic. We've seen some toxic people, but uh, you guys aren't toxic. Yeah, you guys aren't toxic. I'm joking. 
shot his buddy back. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't, I didn't see the full story. I just tried to stay out of it. I was like, yeah, uh. <laughs> That's all it was. One of your teammates shot his buddy. He shot his buddy back. Yeah, that was an interesting play from the brim, just like rushing TP in one of those rounds. Like, I was like. Oh, yeah, he, he was ready for you guys to TP. He was waiting for you guys to TP. Yeah, I know. Like, I was looking at him like, this is like the perfect play just to like rotate for TP, but like, that was super smart predicting that from uh, like, the brim predicting that and then like going right in after them. Because like, everyone when they rotate from T, when they rotate, when they rotate to through TP, they don't look back. Yeah, that's. Yeah, whenever uh, he was holding for you guys to like hit the bomb, but then you guys just took TP, so he just followed you guys. Yeah. And then, um. Uh, What's it called? Uh, Jet there missing him with the Bucky. <laughs> Jet was, yeah. I was watching Jet like staring at the back of Brim's head like, oh, I mean, uh, yeah. So but, like, um, do you guys go to big college? Do you guys get like, is you guys like a esports club or like, what is it? Yeah, so uh, the esports team here is based out of a esports club. We got athletic funding. So technically we're also athletes. So we are in this little limbo here where uh, athletics gave us funding and clubs gave us funding. So right now we're sticking with clubs because clubs gave us with uh, a lot more money uh, and we're yeah. not like approved as like official athletes yet. Um, that's like our goal, just playing in ECAC because you know ECAC they do uh, traditional like conventional sports too, right? You got like basketball, soccer, whatever. Um, yeah. So it, in attempts to obtain legitimacy, we're uh, playing in the ECAC league. Also, like, they have like a lot of uh, credibility just from being ECAC. So, uh, we were mo mainly com competing in that, and then we came into Seville just to like see what you know this is all about. And I mean, seeing you guys like your roster is like kind of crazy. Is everyone gonna be like that? It's like you know. No, 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 no. No, no? Not, I was like, we we play people. Like you got like unlucky people. We haven't lost anything, but we're like almost ranked number one out of all. Really? Right yeah. Now, like that? Yeah, no, because I was looking at it, it's like Immortal Three is like most of you are Immortal Three, like high Immortal, right. and it's like yeah. that's basically yeah. Radiant, yeah, and then Radiant. yeah, and then I saw you guys ranked up to Radiant, like yeah, yeah, no, I predicted that you guys are definitely Radiant, like <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? How is this even a thing? <laughs> but that's just that's just to be expected from like Siva, right? Like this is like official stuff, you know what I mean? We expected yeah. to play the best of the best and like, dang, like our first game in, we're already versing like Radiance out here. Like a full team of Radiance, basically. Yeah, that's, I mean, some, a lot of teams aren't like this, but um, yeah, we're like one of the better teams. Hey, it's give me a second, like, I'm, gonna mute, I'm, I'm gonna mute my, uh, hold on, give me one second. Coaching opportunities to be free, like we coach for free. Um, like I don't know. Okay, what I what I could do. Wow, uh, this is probably I could coach in return for homework being done. Because. Yeah, I mean, and I don't care, like, as long as I'm not getting an F on it, if I'm getting a C, I'm fine. Because it's, I'm, I only help doing homework in philosophy, and it's the one class I hate doing. Uh, E grade's pretty tough, like, um, it's not the toughest, like, if you just do the work, you'll probably get, like, a C, but, like, he on average just gives you, like, a C or a B. Like, I did an assignment, it was a video assignment. And like I wrote about like a topic in the assignment, and he's like, "You could have wrote about this without watching the video," and he gave me like a, a B minus on it. Like I watched the video; it was in the video. And then so like from now on, I like, always like quote. Yeah. Okay. It's due Tuesday. Uh, so you have to write two. 500 things on just like one of the things for proving. Yeah. 
I also need the details above it too, so you can like, read the rest of it, like the actual detailed details. Yeah. It could be an ongoing thing, especially for philosophy class. I would do this. Whoa! I hate him. I hate him. So it makes me not want to do the work for him. Yeah. So. Oh, I, I understand. That's how my guy is. That's how my guy is. Yeah, he like posted a video link. And like it didn't work and for like the class and he's like yeah i don't see the problem here it's working for me yet but i guess you guys are just doing something wrong here's the link to the youtube though and that's like what he said it was like actually absurd how like how like people littles people and oh my god let me tell you a guy switching the class late and it's an online class he doesn't accept a single like homework assignment if it's one second late he won't accept it and for the guy switching the class late he didn't like get the first week of assignment because he wasn't in the class yet, and he gave him zeros on the assignments, and he wasn't allowed to like give it. Hey, he wasn't allowed to get rid of it, and that's how like bad it is. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, like, uh, like you check, like, if you're gonna do, like, no late work, like, it makes no sense, because, like, you pick this profession. You should, like, try one of better kids. Like, if they're doing bad, you try one to make them better, not, like, force them and make them, like, down on themselves. Yeah. Oh, I understand. And, if it, and like, it's just too, so much. Like it's only this class. Like, all my other teachers like are fine. But this class is like so. And he's like only my. It's my only not in person class too. Yeah. Some of them are. I had a really good uh, high school teacher, which is my chemistry class, but I enjoyed it a lot. And he would like, he wouldn't give homework because he knew it stress, he stresses people out. He's like, I don't give homework. I know people just cheat on it and it stresses people out. Um, and then if you like, he would, in class, he would like teach the thing, and if you had like a question, he would come, sit down at like come to you, sit down with you, and like go like through step by step on how to do it. Like he was an amazing, teacher, my favorite teacher of all time. Yeah, and like, uh, I trust me, I know. Like my uh, my two college classes, I took two, I took college algebra and college chemistry in high school. And both the teachers were like that. And but college doctor was like, uh, he would give the homework, but it was optional. So like, if you're struggling, he would recommend doing it. Um, but if you need help, come in before class, after class, or like if we were like in class and you need help with a question, go and ask. Like both of them like super nice. My other teachers, oh my god, some of them were atrocious, like so bad. What time would this coaching thing? Be? What time would this coaching thing? Be? That's that's fine. Okay.
shavings. Okay. Um, I do a practice. Like I pra we practice every single day. So it depends what it is, but if not, record a have them record a, a bod, and we I'll come in later after my practice is done, and we can watch the bod together and like learn from the bod. Uh, I I doubt okay I, I doubt we're gonna set up scrims because like on Tuesday we're scrimming Cloud Nine and, like Yester yeah like we have access to first scrims so yeah uh but yeah yeah uh we 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 practice. <laughs> uh yeah i mean i'll come in and like i'll coach like every week yeah, i'll go like one coaching session for like an assignment i'll actually do that yeah i understand I, I wanted to like ease into coaching too like uh, i've been asking you around so this is like an easy way that we both get benefited. Okay. Yep, just keep me updated with everything. I'll make sure I see you back. Thank you. Yeah.